Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this Twitter tutorial, we will create a drop down button which displays a list of options or items to be selected by a user. So let's begin. So first of all, you need to create a new Twitter project or work with your existing Twitter project. So to create a new Twitter project, just go to File, New, New Twitter Project. Okay, so this will open a win new window. You will select Flutter application. Hit next. Give a name to your Flutter project and next and finish it. Okay, so this will create a new Flutter project for you. So I have already created a new Flutter project. Okay, so while creating a new Flutter project, the it will give us a default code, Flutter code, uh, as you can see over here. So when a when a button is being pressed, the variable will get incremented and will be printed on the screen. So as you can see over here, so I will just remove this default code given by Flutter team. Okay, so I will just remove it and create my own stateful widget, my home page. Okay, so for now. Uh, this home page simply contains a container so as you can see if I run it it will just uh, display a blank screen okay because it has only one container over here So I have just fast forwarded the basic thing like scaffold widget, app bar, column widget. So under uh, column widget, just below this hello text, we will show our drop down button. So before doing that, we need to create a, a, a list of items to be shown over here. So I will just uh, create uh, some static data, static array list. Uh, fruit names of a fruit apple banana grapes orange watermelon pineapple so this is the initial value of our button when the app will start and these are the list of item that will be displayed in our drop down list okay so here just below this text widget we will show our drop down button okay so this is a mandatory uh, property so there are various properties so to check it just take your cursor to this widget and hold control and press the button okay so these are the various properties you can customize your drop down button okay so this is the item we need to pass over here so here we have items dot map we will make use of map function to iterate to this array list of items so here just do it and then just convert this to list okay so inside here and you can change this variable to items name okay so this uh, mapping will return a widget so for here we will make use of drop down menu item so the child will be our item name that is text dot item name and value we need to set over here that is item name okay so this is one property so when i run this restart our app so you can see over here uh, there is a, a drop down button but it is not functioning because uh, we need to set 
on change function for it so what should happen when a user press on it so this function is needed new value and there is one more property that is value the value will come from this the initial string okay so now if i run it you can see the initial property is been showing and these are the items so when i press on when, when i uh, select grapes nothing is happening that's because in our change method what we need to do is we need to change this value so for that we will make use of set state okay in set state drop down value we will change it to new value okay so now if i run it okay so it was apple now it's banana so it is getting changed so this is how you can implement drop down button or drop down menu item in your folder app okay that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of implementing drop down button uh, thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point